Yo, yo. Y'all still tuned in in there? Yes, sir. This is your boy, Harlem Smiley, man. And you are tuned in to the one, the only, Dirt Gang TV. And this is Crips and Bloods in New York. But here's my story, man. The Harlem Smiley story, man. And I believe this is part 25, side B. Yeah, man. We cooking up, man. We cooking up, man. Doing a little bit different things right now. But I got a decision on my hand right now. Do I take this three G's like a dummy? Like a lot of us do and say, oh, I'm going to take this stimulus money. I'm going to go flip that instead of just going and fill out some applications, man. I keep trying to tell people, slow money is for show money. It's slow, but it's for show money, man. So this is how we got to start thinking, man. Anyway, what's that in there? What's that? I told y'all, man. Y'all know the slogan. You can't get this money if you in there sleep on the couch. Impossible, man. This is Harlem Smiley, man. We ain't talking no more, man. Let's let, let's cut all the chatter. Let's get rolling, man. Yikes. The side block, man. No. It's Curry Low, nigga. You are now tuned into Bossman Tough Beat. I'm just a Brooklyn Crip from a Harlem set. Show some respect. If not, cuz, put it in check. I'm up next. This is your boy Harlem Smiley, man. And you are tuned in to the one and the only Dirt Gang TV. So, just a little quick recap, man, for the most part, man. We out of jail. We in Long Island right now. We doing some different things, man. We working so-called construction, a.k.a. landscaping, a.k.a. off the books, a.k.a. the government don't know nothing about it, so it can't be tax kind of money. Shout out to all my mate. Anyway, I ain't going to go down that road. <laughs> it's early. So, listen. Yeah, so we working construction right now. So I just started doing this brick, cutting these uh, do, cutting these bricks on this wet saw for around rich people pools and stuff like that in the Hamptons. All right, I can I can take this three G's, go flip this, go back to Brooklyn. I'm starting out good with three G's. Three G's, I can give me a couple of pounds. We starting out good right now, or I can just stay in Long Island, keep working, and see where it goes from there. Oh, hold up, hold up, something wrong, hold up. It's time to sync up, man. Y'all, please, grab y'all whatever y'all smoking, man. Sync up, man. Light us up. I synced up a little bit before y'all. I was, I've been syncing up all morning. Anyway, so, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I do what any normal person do. I sit back and I smoke me a blunt and I ponder. We can't go back to Brooklyn right now. You out there, you go right back into the game. You out there dodging police back and forth. You on the block. Yeah, you ain't got no warrants right now, but all it's going to take for the wrong thing for you to happen again. And then you right back in the situation you in again. I'm not even going to lie. After this being, I think, my fifth time locked up, every time I get locked up, it's more time and more time and more time. After doing that last little stretch, I'm done with that shit. I'm not even going to lie. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how people just get out of jail, do a couple of years in jail, and then y'all get out of jail, and y'all right back in after two weeks and all that. I don't know how y'all do it. No way, no how. So, <clears throat> I stay on Long Island. Keep working. So, I'm working, you know what I'm saying? Cutting bricks. Getting that money in there. The only thing was, right? The brick job wasn't an everyday job. You get that kind of, you know, you get kind of done with that kind of quick. So, once you get those jobs... They was calling me on it because none of them other, none of them other one, they want, they didn't want to take time to learn how to cut the bricks. So it wasn't like super consistent, but for two, three weeks straight, because now we about to get into it now to where people's ready to start opening up their pools and all that. By the time they open up their pool, we coming up now. By the time they come ready to open up their pool, they want to just pull that top right off the top of their pool. Should be looking good. Invite the people over. Get right in the pool. That's what they want to do. So, for two weeks straight, 
we was pretty much doing like brick jobs. Well, me and the other dude doing brick jobs. So I wasn't even over there with them digging trenches or nothing like that. Only thing I had to go over there for is to see the boss to pick up my money. Because it gets to the fact now, I don't even need to get my money every day. I'm waiting to the end of the week to get my money. Fridays, I'm coming to get my money. Because he gave you the option. You can get your money every day or you can just wait till Friday the end of the week and get in the boat. So now that I got a little money in my pocket, I'm waiting to the end. Two weeks pass by. Friday come. I go to get my money. I pull up to the house and I look. I know that's not fucking Tyrone, son. And if y'all wondering who Tyrone is, we're going to do a little shoo, 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 shoo. A little recap. Y'all remember when I first got locked up? First time ever on Riverhead in the minor dorm. Y'all remember when I got to Bellport High School, had to fight with the blood dude, first day or whatever like that. Y'all remember me getting locked up, his little brother leaving out, telling me, yo, Ben, watch out. There's mad bloods in here. Not knowing when I get in there, he done told them niggas, oh, this nigga Crip. That nigga. That same, yeah, him. Let's go back forward. <coughs> it's been years. It's been years since I've been out there. Years. Between the time being in California. This happened when I was a minor. 17. It's been years. We talking about like, this might have happened like at this time. Maybe like six years ago. Seven years ago. We talking about years ago. This happened. And I'm looking. I'm like, man, that look like him. But I don't know if it's him. So the other black dude, we coming from the, the brick job. He going to get his check too. Yo, Ben, what the hell wrong? I'm like, nah. This dude look familiar, but I know this can't be him. See what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking in my head, Pedro know the situation. I done told Pedro the situation. Pedro got me the job. There's no way he got me the job. I didn't see this guy here before. Maybe it's not him. Get out the car. So he's like, yo, Ben. What's good, son? I ain't see you in mad long. Come up slapping me five. Now I'm like, now I know for a fact that's him. So now I'm thinking in my head, right? As he's approaching me, I'm thinking in my head now. Split second decisions. Is my decision to split his head? Are we going, are we going to just destroy him right here, right now? Because I don't care what you are. That's some bitch shit. That's one step away. I wouldn't really call that snitching. See, that? I call that an eye for an eye. But you can't give me the little warning and then tell, come on, son. I want, I want, I wish to knock you out just for that reason right now. So as he's approaching me, I'm like, damn. If I knock him out, $2,000 a week, gone. Gone. $2,000 a week, gone. So he comes up to me and he slap, try to slap me five. And I push his hand away. I'm like, nigga, I'm not really about to give you five. You think I don't know what you did in jail? That You think I don't know what you did? He like, nah, what you talking about? Fuck you mean what I'm talking about? How you going to give me the warning when I'm coming in there? When I'm going into, into the jail, I'm taking your same cell you coming out of. You going home, I'm coming to jail. You walk by me. Giving me the heads up. Yo, Ben, be careful. There's mad bloods in here. Meanwhile, you done told them same niggas I'm Crip. Nah, one of the niggas in there, he already knew you was Crip. He asked me, was you Crip? And I just told him, yeah, you was Crip. Nah, nah. I'm not from Long Island. I wasn't from Long Island at that time. I ain't got no family on Long Island. I ain't know no people on Long Island, really. There's no way that they just knew me from out there. It wasn't none of them in there from the city. I didn't recognize none of them in there. Nah. He like, nah, son. One of them in there, they knew you was Crip. They asked me, and you know. I just know, you know, you don't deny your flag, and you know, yada, yada, yada. 
that's your story and you gonna stick to it? Yeah, nah, I wasn't nothing like that. You know, I wasn't trying to set you up. All right, man. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. So I know what y'all think. It's smiley. You should have just knocked this nigga right on his. Yeah. Normally, the young old, the younger smiley would have just did that. But the smiley that actually has a kid to worry about, the smiley that actually uh just got out of jail from doing mad long. The smiley that just now got a, he ain't got no, he ain't got no uh felony. He ain't got no more warrants. He got a job paying $2,000 a week off the books. No government tax included. Yeah, this smiley not about to mess that up. Sorry. Know what y'all thinking in there. Y'all wanted me to say, oh, I just boop, 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 boop. Nah. I keep telling y'all, man, everything on here is 100% authentic, man. I keep telling y'all in here, you can always go backtrace what I say, man. Shut, let, back, let, let's, let, let's hop offline real quick. Let's hop offline. Shout out to Mel TV, man. Did a great interview, man, with Face Low, man. Face Low from 8 Deuce Trey G-Stone, man. Go back and watch that interview. <clears throat> go back and watch that interview. He is like, I ain't gonna lie. He's one of the originators. See what I'm saying? And go back and watch that interview. That's a great interview. A lot of the stuff I be saying is a lot of stuff he was saying in the interview. So you don't gotta just take my word for it. It's a fresh new interview. I've been saying this stuff for mad long. Y'all don't wanna take my word for it? Go watch that interview, man. Shout out to Mel's TV, man. Shout out to Face Low, man. Double OG, man. He should be called, man. He wanted the, he wanted the originals, man. He, I ain't gonna lie. He wanted the originals, man. I ain't gonna lie. When that whole G Stone movement first started, that's why I try to tell people, man. When the G Stone movement first started, not the Eight Deuce Trade movement, but the G Stone movement first started in uh 1996. Not even really the beginning of 1996. When it was just like jumping like that, I ain't gonna lie. See what I'm saying? You used to hear his name a lot. Well respected throughout the hood, man. He older. He like, he, he, and, my, he and my uncle in them bracket. He and my uncle in them age bracket. See what I'm saying? So, you know, listen. <laughs> Go watch the interview, man. Let's hop back online like Star 6ix9ine real quick. I pull Pedro to the side. Pedro, bro, you put me in a very big, a very crazy predicament right now. Come on, bro. You already know me and his brother had beef in the past. And then, I'm saying, I already told you the shit he did. So I'm not even realizing at this time. Because at that time, like, him and Pedro knew each other. But they wasn't really cool with each other. But now, you know, we grown men now. So it's like him and Pedro, you know, they super cool with each other now. Throughout the years. Pedro don't do the gang shit. See what I'm saying? Pedro's a super cool ass dude. Everybody cool, Pedro. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, for the most part. See what I'm saying? You know they cool. Like, you know, they go chill with each other all this outside of work kind of deal. Alright. It is what it is. Cool. Alright, boom. No problem. I feel you on this one. So, this is what we going to do. So we gonna do. We gonna keep it cordial. I need this money. Obviously, you here working. You need this money. We gonna keep it cordial. It is what it is. See what I'm saying? This was the first time in my life that I let something that big go. That's when I knew I was growing up. If I was able to let that, I'm not even gonna lie. The two thousand dollars had a lot to play with it. Because if there was no money involved, that was my first time seeing him since seeing him when in the jails. And that was the minor dome. So at, I'm older than him. So at that time, I think he was only like 15 years old. Not making no excuses for him. I'm not going to fault you for it, though. It is what it is. See what I'm saying? I'm going to continue to get this money. So... 
springtime, zoot, summertime, I'm getting that money. I get my car back. I'm like, yes. License. License is good. I'm like, yes. Everything is good money right here. See what I'm saying? She going good. I'm driving back and forth to Brooklyn. I ain't, you know, niggas look, everything's run there. Yo, where the chocolate bricks at? Because they seeing me, you know, my gear game's still good. I'm still riding around in the car. Niggas just haven't seen me in a while. So niggas think I'm out there just doing the same thing. Nah, you can't sell drugs all your life. You can't sell drugs all your life. You need to get a retirement plan. 401, 401k. This is stuff you need to do. Insurance. You get older, you get in your 50s and 60s, it's not cool. Them young cats gonna be running down on y'all, y'all still trying to sell drugs. I'm telling you, them young motherfuckers coming to re-up 20, why we still coming here to re-up? Let's run in there and take it all. See what I'm saying? Let's run in there and take it all. Shit is crazy, son. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't gonna lie, the game is changing, man. The game is changing, man. See what I'm saying? I, 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 I had a nice little talk. Well, I'm going to leave him as an undisclosed YouTuber. Somebody who I look up to a lot. Had a nice little uh, 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 online chat, if you want to call it, with that person, man. They schooled me to the game, man. I can't feed into the bullshit. See what I'm saying? Haters going to hate. Especially the online trolls. Motherfuckers is going to hate. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> and this is somebody who's been they around the same age as me. Maybe a little bit older than me. See what I'm saying? And they in the game. But you can never tell that they in the game because they don't display the whole, you know, they whole past in the game. Me, I'm a little different. My shit is out there already. You see what I'm saying? That was the whole point of this platform was to tell people about shit that going on in New York. A lot of people don't realize shit that going on. They only know now what's going on in New York. They don't know what's happening in New York between... And that's why I started from where I started at, 1996 and beyond. It's stuff that other people could tell you from between 94 to 96 that I, or, or 97. See what I'm saying? For the most part, that can tell you those times in between there. When shit was even rougher between 94 and 97, 96, whichever you want to call it. By the time I turned, it was, you know, we had a little bit of force of numbers. 94, 95, the, them earlier ones, I'm telling you, bro, my uncle used to tell me stories, bro. It, it, it's crazy. He's like, he, he's never going to see the light a day again. See what I'm saying? But I'm not even going to lie. It's been many times younger taking them trips back and forth up there. See what I'm saying? Talking about... Yeah, he not going to see the light of day again. Shit is crazy, son. See what I'm saying? But the stories is like, the, the stories is phenomenal. Like, shit was crazy, Rikers Island. 94, 95. That's why he used to try to keep us away from the shit. See what I'm saying? But, you look at, you got mad nieces and nephews. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to lie. Shit is crazy, son. He went from having no... Family in the gangs, so he was the only gang member to where I it's a boatload of us. See what I'm saying? Shit crazy. But anyway, let, let's hop back online. So now, pretty much, right? For the whole summer, all I'm doing is right, Monday through Friday, I'm going to work. We go to work eight o'clock in the morning. We get out at five o'clock in the morning. Normally, what we do is too, me and Pedro. Where you normally go, go grab some bud at the work or whatever like that. We go chill. We go smoke. We go grab something to eat. I go back to my crib. He go to his crib. It is what it is. I'm saying? Because at that point, you know, I usually go to either link up with my girl at that time. Or, you know, it's usually something of that sort. But I'm not, even though I got a car, I'm not doing that every day. Go back and forth to Brooklyn thing. Especially you got to be to work 8 o'clock in the morning. You got to be there sharp. Like they be wanting you at the site by 8.30. You got to fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like shit is crazy. So throughout that whole course of summer, I'm not going to say me and Tyrone got cool. 
I'm not gonna say we was cool, but we was cordial. Cause we had to ride in that fucking, we had to ride in that three-seater truck together a lot. And I'm saying, you know, the boss sometimes, if it was a lot of us going, he would let us uh use his car, but he only let me or Pedro drive the car. But the truck though, when we had to go to certain places, we had to go to Home Depot and all that to get supplies. Tyrone would drive the truck. Cause at that time, I I never had drove no truck at that time. See what I'm saying? So he was the only nigga that was good enough to drive the big truck. So you know. Had to ride around with the nigga, man. See what I'm saying? But he used to fucking drive that shit reckless. See what I'm saying? But, you know, at that time, reckless drive was my shit. But we were always just smoking a truck on the way to Home Depot. And made sure we had some spray in there. Air that bitch out. We get to the site. We good. See what I'm saying? That was the routine. So by the time Saturday come, if it was work on Saturday, you had the option to go get that work on Saturday. It was 6 to 12. But if it was no work on Saturday... I'm dipping to Brooklyn. I'm going to Brooklyn Saturday. See what I'm saying? If not, I'm going out there. I'm going out there on Sundays. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, for the most part, I'm out there. I'm only out there like one day a week now. Shit is crazy. Summertime almost over. What's next? What we going to do next? Are we going to uh take this money we got saved up? Because I'm not even going to lie. By the time the end of the summer coming up right now, I've been doing a lot of frivolous spending, but I still got like six, seven G's saved up. See what I'm saying? Like once again, you know, I ain't paying no rent. I'm saying I'm chilling. I'm I'm literally just like going to work, using my money to eat, smoke, put gas in my car, fix my car. See what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So I got a little money saved up, but now the end of the summer coming up. I know it ain't no work throughout the winter time. We pretty much don't got no work for the next six months. So at this point, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna try to am I gonna try to go am I gonna try to go back? Am I gonna try to go back to the block and go get this money now that this uh nice little job is over with? Or am I gonna do some different things, man? It's something y'all going nah, 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 I'm only playing, I'm only playing. <laughs> I'm only playing. So I do what any normal person do. I go back and I I, I roll me a blunt. In the back of my car, not even in the front of my car. This is the one time I actually sat in the back of my car and smoked. You know, it feel weird when you're in your own car and you sit in the back seat. But I'm in the driveway just chilling, stretched out across the back, pondering my next move. Because this was a big decision I'm going to do. So I'm like, you know what? I I'm still not ready to try to jump back into that game yet. See what I'm saying? If I can find this money doing this, I can find this amount of money doing something else. So I wake up the next day. I start filling out applications. I went back to KFC. KFC like, uh, did you leave with a two week notice? I'm like, nah. They're like, ah, we probably, we can't hire you. But right next door to the KFC, was the friendlies. So right when I'm about to leave from KFC, because you know me, I'm tight. That's my first place I used to work here. All right, let me try to go back here and get my job. Nah. Fuck. And now I go to friendlies. Right next door. Go in there. Hey, are y'all hiring? The man just like, yes, uh, we're hiring for, um, you know, we have a... Uh, Service, uh, server position. Are you? Uh, do you have any experience? Nah. I'm like, I went to culinary school. You know, I went to Bosey's right around the corner. Went to culinary in there. You know, I can cook. She was like, Well, I really don't have any cooking positions open, but I do have a, a kitchen position open, dishwashing. But she was like, You can start out at dishwasher, and then as soon as I get a cook position open, if you want, I can swap you over and train you for that this point in time, I'm like, yo, all right, how much it pays? She like $10 an hour. So I'm like, damn, $10 an hour, eight hours a day, that's 80 bucks. But then I know the government going to come get their portion of that. So you might as well say 80 bucks is looking more like 67-ish a day. If I do that five days a week, 
You mean to tell me I'm looking at $235? I was making that in one day. <laughs> All right. I'll take the job. No problem. I'll take the job. This how the math be working. This how the math be working in my head sometimes. I'm not even going. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I did that a little wrong. Anyway. Six, five. I'm sorry. Yeah, I meant to say 300. Yeah, that's what I should have said. $335. Excuse me. I ain't editing that out. Fuck that. $335. I'm making that. And let's just say. Two to three shifts at the other spot. But the other spot gone. Don't worry. I'm going to take this position, miss. I'm going to take this position. She like, okay. You need to get slip-resistant shoes. I know what those is. I was in culinary. And come back uh, with your social security card. Copy your ID. Come back on Thursday. So I get there on Thursday. Get there Thursday, give them a copy of my ID. They walking me around the dish room. They showing me the dish, you know, the dishwashing room and stuff like that. Then I'm filling out, you know, paperwork, you know, tax forms and, you know, you know how that go. When you first get hired, you got to fill out all that paperwork. It is what it is. So now she like, all right, come tomorrow. They going to train you. So I get there. So now it's Friday. I get there. Six o'clock. Friendly's only stay open at 10 o'clock. So I'll get there at 6 o'clock. All right, cool. Spanish dude there. Speak some, speak, speak okay English. Okay English. He's showing me, you know, how to uh clean the dish machine, how to put how to run stuff through the racks. He's showing me how to load it up with soap. He's showing me how to actually start the machine, you know, stuff like that. Dishwasher stuff. I ain't gonna go, I don't want to go through the spills. Cool. 10 o'clock come. Manager come back there. All right, Ben. You know, you can go. He'll be able to finish this up. You good. Come back tomorrow, 3 o'clock. All right, cool. Now it's Saturday. Saturday, I usually go to Brooklyn. It is what it is. See what I'm saying? I go to work. I get there. 3 o'clock. Now it's me and it's another Spanish guy. So it's the morning guy. The morning guy, four o'clock comes home. He goes home. So now from so the next guy comes in at five o'clock. So from three to five, I mean, I'm sorry, from four to five, I'm there by myself. So they like, man, you come back there. All right, this would be a good time for you. We don't get too busy right now. This would be a great time for you to actually, you know, practice doing dish by yourself until Armando comes in here. Armando gets in there at five. Cool. We bust that out. Nine o'clock, they come back there. They tell me to go home. He finished the rest. All right, cool. Sunday, come. I mean, imagine come back there. Come back tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Sunday, come up. Get there the next day. 2 o'clock. Morning dishwasher comes. I mean, one dishwasher is in there. As soon as I come in at 2 o'clock, adios. They like Armando be here at 4. So now I got to do... Two hours. Reason being, the dishwasher came in at 6 o'clock. He had to do the truck, inventory truck. New York don't like paying overtime. Sunday, I'm there. All right, cool. Armando comes in 4 o'clock. I stayed there at 8 o'clock. All right, Ben. Adios. I get out. Of, I mean, the uh, manager come back there. All right, Ben, come back this Friday coming up. So now, right? This is the last week now of doing the uh of doing the um the construction now. So I'm like, this works out perfect. So Friday I gotta be there at six o'clock. So now Monday comes up. I do the uh do the construction. I mean the landscaping. Tuesday, same thing. Wednesday, same thing. Thursday, same thing. Friday, same same thing. But now Friday, by the time we get off, this is our last paycheck. He done hit us with bonuses. He done gave us double our paychecks. He done hit everybody with the last paycheck bonuses. So now I'm like, oh, he done hit me with like three G's. 
Here you go. I'm saying, take that. So I'm like, all right. I go back to Friendly's. I go back. Now I go to Friendly's that night, six o'clock. I get there. I'm like, damn, who's dishwashing right now? They're like, you. What? Training's over. You by yourself tonight. You closing. So I'm like, all right. I never stayed there and did closing before. What? Talking about they close at they close at uh 10 o'clock. I didn't get out of there till 12 o'clock as the closing dishwasher. So now note, I done uh I done um had the had to uh work <coughs> in the morning time. So I'd have worked literally from 8 o'clock in the morning all the way to midnight. I'm super tired. Saturday come up. I got to be there at 4 o'clock. Get in there. All right, cool. I'm here at 4 o'clock. Who's the closing dishwasher? You are. What? I get out at 12 o'clock again. I ain't going to lie. By the time I got home uh, Friday night, took a shower and all that, smoked me a nice little night blunt, I ain't wake up to like 2 o'clock. I was still mad tired when I went to work. Now I got to work from 4 to 12 again. Sunday come up. Coming at 3 o'clock. I get there at 3 o'clock. No way they can make me close now. I know that for a fact. I'm being overtime. But it's two dishwashers. They got the 3 o'clock. I'm the 3 o'clock and it's a 5 o'clock person there. So we in there. It's mad busy inside of there. 6.30, 7 o'clock come up. The 5 o'clock dishwasher that come. It's not Armando. He's talking about, oh, man, I'm not feeling good. You think you can stay for me tonight? I'm like, bro, I'm not even going to lie. I'm mad tight. I don't think I could do that. So he's like, ah, oh, man, bro, please, if you could, man, let me know, man. He's like, I pay you 20 bucks. I really don't need the 20 bucks right now. It is what it is. 15, 20 minutes later. Nah, more like two hours later. The manager come back there. Hey, Ben. Do you think you mind you mind closing tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm the three o'clock person. It's right now, it's probably like, yeah. It's probably like seven-ish, seven, eight. I'm looking for them to be like, all right, time to go home. They're like, hey, you think you can stay in closing? I'm like, nah, man, I done closed the last couple of nights. I'm like, I don't think I can do it. This guy literally, literally goes in the bathroom, goes in the bathroom and start like throwing up everywhere. Okay. Come on, please. I'll buy you food tonight, please. Okay, I stay in close. I got y'all. No problem. All right, Ben. Schedule come out. I'm back on there for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday come up. I ain't been to work all week. I've been in Brooklyn Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, chilling. Doing a whole lot of nothing. Friday come up. I get to work. It's mad busy in there. It's mad busy in there. I'm the closing dishwasher. Eight o'clock come. I look at that dish. I ask the manager. I'm like, hey, can you? I'm like, yo, my stomach is bubbling, man. Can you wash the uh, dish for me? I just got to go run to the bathroom real quick. He's like, all right, man, I got you. No problem. Boy, when I say I walk there, I grab my coat. I grab my car keys. And I got the fuck out of there. Yep, I got the fuck out of there. I said, fuck friendlies. I'm out of here. That dude probably still thinking I'm in the bathroom right now. You know my, how many years ago that was? Yo, can you watch this for me? I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, man. My stomach's bubbling right now, man. A few minutes, right back. On the way out, grab my coat. I'm sorry, not my coat. I had a hoodie. It was raining. Grab my hoodie. Grab my car keys off the same hook. Got my car. I'm up out of here. That's when I realized. Dishwashing job is not for me. But now I done got a decision on my hands. What we going to do now? We going to take these couple of thousands we got right now? I'm not even going to lie. At this particular time... This might have been the most money I'd have made outside of selling drugs in total. Even when I was selling drugs, I didn't have this amount of money 
saved up total. But I'm like, damn, man. See what I'm saying? Shit crazy, man. I can't get getting these damn 300 and something dollar checks. It is what it is. So I do what any normal person do. Sit back and smoke me a blunt. And I ponder my next move. What is your next move, man? What are we going to do? We going back to the block? Or we just going to try something different? So I'm in Ronkonkoma. I'm out there. Doing God knows what. Who knows what. Whatever. I was picking somebody up from the train station. I can't remember why. And coming back, I'm riding on the highway. And I see that they building, they building a hotel. Well, they done built the hotel. They done built the Red Lobster. And they done built the place called Smoky Bones. Right off of the uh right off of the service road. But it's fresh, but not none of it's open yet. So I'm like, yo, I know for a fact these places gotta be hiring. So I wake up the next go home. I wake up the next day. And I literally go to the uh, hotel and I go to a Smoky Bones restaurant. And I fill out applications for both. And Smoky Bones ends up calling me back that same day. They're like, hey, how you doing, man? You know, we got your application. You know, um, you we like we're they like, we're just gonna open up next week. But after that, after we do our, our soft opening, which they call it. In restaurants, all y'all work in restaurants know what that is. We're going to start doing training again next week. We definitely want you to come in here. You know, I'm like, ah, right, it's cool, yada, 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 yada. So I get there, right? Do the interview. Dude named Jeremy, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jeremy, you know what I'm saying? Cool dude. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I'm laughing because these parts is going to be, it's good. anyway. So I get in there. You know what I'm saying? So he's the general manager. So I interview with him. So he's like, all right, you got to see our kitchen manager, Leanne. Go have an interview with her. If she say everything cool, we got you. So I interview with Leanne. Everything go good with Leanne. So then I come back. Jeremy like, all right, cool. You don't got that much experience, but I like your energy. I like your attitude, you know, your background. As long as your background come back clear, I can hire you for a cook on a fry station, which is like the appetizer side. He like, I can hire you over there for $11 an hour. So I'm like, ah, yeah, 11? I'm like, it's only, it's a dollar more than what Friendly's is paying, but I'm not working dish. I'm actually cooking food. So I'm like, at this point, it is what it is. So I'm like, all right, cool. See what I'm saying? I'm going to take that job. Thank you so much, my good man. I appreciate that. I'm going to take that job. It is what it is. So he's like, all right, cool. He like, I'm about to go on vacation. He like, what I need you to do is I need you to start on this day. And then when I come back, I'm going to check your progress. So I'm like, all right, cool. So he like, Leanne will be here the day you start. You know, just get with Leanne. You know, she'll have somebody start training you on a fry station. So I'm like, all right, cool. It is what it is. So I get there that day. Leanne's not there when I get there. It's the bartender manager. Now, I'm not even going to lie. This bartender manager, he was the cool manager. But you know, sometimes in the restaurant game, you got the general manager, which is supposed to be the strictest. And then you got the one who wants to be the general manager. So they, they the assholes. They the dickheads. They want to be the general manager so bad. They want to show that quality, so they got to be the dickheads. Then you got the super cool manager. The super cool manager. The manager that's just there doing a job. You know, that's there. They do everything. They not super tight, but you can't really get over on them. But they cool enough to where, you know, they mess with certain people in there. And then you got the fourth manager. with The one I call the super stupid manager. The one you can always get over on. The one that, that'll walk back there. They know they, they don't want y'all to eat on the line. But they'll walk back there, eat on the line. So, fuck it. The cook see you eat on the line. I'm going to bust some food down the line, too. The super stupid manager. You know that want to mess around with the servers. No, they're not supposed to be doing, doing that. The pushover manager. It's always them four. 
That's always the categories, man. So when I get there, it was the pushover manager was there. I didn't know he was a pushover manager at this time. So I get there, I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'm Ben. So he like, uh, he like, yeah, how you doing? You know, I'm Lottie Yada, I'm Lance. You know, what uh what position did they hire you for? So now originally he hired me for Frost Side, but I'm thinking in my head, like, damn, he told me I didn't have enough experience to work on his grill side. But he don't know my skills. Who was he to challenge me to say this? See what I'm saying? Fuck that. So I tell a pushover man, Jalance. I'm like, he hired me for grill side. So he don't check no paperwork or nothing like that. I start getting trained on grill side. Coming the next night, he the manager again. I get trained on grill side. Coming the next day at nighttime. Leanne was there in the morning time. Jeremy on vacation. Leanne's the kitchen manager. She knows where I'm supposed to be at. Then other manager, which is the cool manager, but not the pushover manager. She's working at night now. So, hey, where are you train at? On grill side? Train on grill side. She's there again the next night on grill side. Now to work there four nights in a row, train on grill side. Now I'm off for two days in a row. Now I get back there, right? I got to do my last day of training. Get over there. Leanne's working at night now. She like, what the hell are you doing? I walk in there. I start setting up the whole grill side. What are you doing setting up grill side? Now I play super dumb. I play super dumb. This is how they train me on right here. She's like, what? They supposed to be training you on that side. Nah, I didn't know nothing about on that side. I never did on that side. They have been training me over here on this side. I play super dumb. They been training me over here on this side. And she like, all right. So she let me finish setting up. So she coming in. She's checking on my setup as she's doing her counts. So now the orders and stuff start coming in. I got somebody else there that's training me still. But this is my last day of training. I know mad stuff. See what I'm saying? She like, oh, no, he keeping up over here. He's doing good over here. See what I'm saying? So my last day of training there, she left me. So now I come in the next day. Now I'm not training no more. Now I'm on the schedule now. Jeremy come. Jeremy's back from vacation now. So now I come in there. Hey, how you doing, Jeremy? You know, how was your vacation? Yada, yada. He's like, ah, I'm good. Ben, how's your training going? Training good. You know, it's my first day out of training. I'm good. He's like, all right, man, I'm here with you tonight. Let's see what you got. <laughs> so he comes back there and he's look. Hey, what the fuck are you doing on grill side? So he talk. Italian dude. This is where they've been training me at the whole time. Nah, why the hell are you not down there helping Julio? Nah. They've been training me over here this whole time. I told them you didn't have enough experience to work over here. Meanwhile, the white kid, Brian, is like, man, just fucking leave him, man. He's fucking good. Just fucking leave him. <laughs> That's how he talk, man. He's like, come on, Jeremy, just leave him. He like, this is not what I hired you for. We didn't need nobody over here. I, You know what? One mistake, you back down there retraining on Julio. And he puts his foot up and he just standing there and he's just looking. So as I'm sitting there trying to grill, see what I'm saying? To, to make no mistakes, my grill marks is coming off them steaks looking like X's. My ribs nice and pan seared, huh? Take that. Uh, 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 uh. See what I'm saying? I'm sweating and cooking, cooking and sweat. Make sure I ain't sweating on the food though. I'm back that bitch putting in work. But he looked the look on his face. He I don't think he buying it. Cause he getting bright red. He looking at that screen and that screen getting red. But the screen is red. But I'm like, damn, it's like I'm new, but I know the screen is red, but it's not my fault. But I'm like, damn, boy, he about to ship my ass back over there to profit. No. I hate when somebody try to challenge me and tell me I'm not good enough to do something. Don't tell me I'm not good enough to do something, because all I'm gonna do is try to prove you wrong. They told me I could never do this YouTube thing. All I'm going to do is prove you wrong. <laughs> prove you wrong. See what I'm saying? So I'm thinking in my head, I'm rocking, but I don't know if he rocking with me, man. You know what I'm saying? So is he going to leave me over there if he's going to put me back on fry pantry? Some of y'all going to have to wait to the next one to find out, man. I'm just a Brooklyn Crip from a Harlem set. Show some respect. 
If not, cuz, put it in check. I'm up next. This is your boy, Harlem Smiley, man. And listen, trust me. Y'all know all the crazy shit that go down in restaurants, man. So these next couple of parts guarantee you is going to be entertaining for the mind, body, and soul, man. A lot of what to do and what not to do, man, when you in these restaurants, man. This is your boy, Harlem Smiley, man. If y'all want to donate to the cause, the cash app is dollar sign Harlem Smiley, man. And the best thing you could do for me, subscribe to the channel, man. And then hit the notification bell, man. And if you rock with your boy or any one of these videos, y'all know what it is, man. Hit the like button. Turn it from white to blue. And if not one, put up two, man. Dirt game, man. We rolling, man. Ninth Street, man.